Hello everybody, I'm Alfred and you're listening to For Canada. I would like to speak to everyone in Canada, you know, whether you are a Canadian or you are just residing in that area. You see, it is very important that you open your eyes to what is happening. First of all, the most important thing that should be on your mind is the spreading of this gospel. You must make sure that the gospel of Jesus Christ is increasing and spreading into every look of cranny and every seat of influence. You see, if the modus operandi of Canada is not based on the word, then it will fail because it is not built on a solid foundation. You see, God's work, word is the rock. And when you don't build your house on a rock, when you build your house on anything else, it, it is going to fail when the storms comes. You know, when the disturbances and the um, circumstances of life, you know, approach it. You have to build your house on a strong foundation. In the same way, the modus operandi of the governmental system, the way the country is run, has to be based on God's word. Otherwise, it is running on a faulty platform which is subject to destruction. And you can see what happened with the handling of the pandemic and you know the lockdowns. So you can see the scams that came out. Yes, there was a virus, but the saints of God prayed, you know. Notably, um, Kenneth Copeland and of course, Pastor Chris Yagnomia, you know, there was around the clock prayer, you know, that was organized. And the power of the virus itself became ineffective such that a lot of people who had the virus, you know, they didn't know that they had the virus and their own immune system destroyed it. Then what now happened was seeing this as an opportunity Certain people who control certain things in the world started coming up with lies and making it look like, you know, this number of people have died, this number of people have died. All of those were lies. A lot of those people that they said were dying from the virus, you know, what happened to the flu? When you look at the numbers, those are actually equal to the numbers of people who die from the flu within the, um, that particular season. You see? But no flu death was reported everything was considered it was because of the virus so they were using it to boost the virus and you know to use it as a way to attack donald trump who was actually right all along about so many things you know apart from the cooking up of the vaccine and actually the distribution of the vaccine which is something that nobody in their right mind should take when you see um the host and the, the 419 and the 49 you when you see the fraud and the fraud you know you you fraud cannot lead you to a beautiful destination you cannot see the handle of the pandemic you cannot see the lockdowns and how um, a lot of small businesses were shut down and their market share has now gone to bigger companies that are lobbyists with the government and a lot of the politicians are investors and their relatives are investors in such companies so they know what they are doing that is why you see it is important for you to take your company public when when people have the access to invest in your company you will see funny things happen, you know, because you become immune to certain things that happen to other people. When government officials begin to invest in your company, you know, your story becomes different from that of others. There are things that will stand in the way of other businesses and sm different small companies that will not stand in your way. And you must understand that you don't have to be traded on the stock exchange, you know, for you to have um, a constant influx or an open door to investors but that is um, something I'll talk about later and of course when that open door you know is an open door for also government officials to invest in your company would have a lot of exemptions and you know the the point is that you can see the kind of funny businesses that you know the 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 funny tricks that the politicians play you know and and 
that has resulted in such misfortune in Canada. But however, you know, these things can be prevented by Christians being in positions of power. You know, they will do the they will do the right thing. If you, if God is important to you, if you have God in your life, integrity will be important to you. You will not lie for political gain. You will not lie and manipulate your way just to get um money and just to you know do things that will be detrimental to other people but profitable to you you know you won't walk in that path you know if um you are devoted to christ you know so this is why it's very important for the christians in canada you know you have to become active look at the antifa and the other organizations what are you doing are you a part of any grassroots movement are you sponsoring any grassroots movement you have to be wise it doesn't matter your position perhaps you say i can't be out there on the streets you know being a part of a grassroots movement protesting or whatever but you see these groups are used and are manipulating things the people who are really sponsoring and are really powering organizations like black lives matter you know they are not there on the streets but they have put their money you know, into the creation of Black Lives Matter, into the founding of Black Lives Matter. The people who are called the founders of Black Lives Matter are not the founders of Black Lives Matter. You know, the true founders are the ones who are the chief sponsors and the engine behind why it is still running and why it still has immunity. You know, Black Lives Matter and Antifa unite and they bomb buildings and all of that and yet they still have immunity who has that power that is that has granted it to, that power to them to do such things and who is funding them who is the one bossing antifa and black lives matter to different cities to start riots and you know to protest and all of that who is the one doing that you see those people are not on the ground so you too you don't have to be on the ground you know pushing this cause or that cause but you can see organizations and you see it's it's he who pays the piper that determines the tune. So it can be an existing organization, but just the same way Harvard and Yale have now turned into leftist um, centers of learning and, you know, centers for teaching leftist propaganda and for indoctrinating um, towards um, leftist ideologies and communism. You know, how was that done? It was done by the largest you know the key investors and um the folks who sponsor and you know give money to these universities with their terms and conditions or of you should add this library you should name this library after me or you should do this or you should make this change those people those are the ones that had the influence to in a sense lobby such universities you know, and to push forth causes that they want. You know, you can do that in Canada and make sure that the cause of the gospel is number one. And you can do that to take over different existing organizations, including Black Lives Matter. You know, in America, they now have an organization called BIG, which stands for Blacks in Government. You know, that should be illegal. That is the infiltration of every single government organization with one isolated government organization that has its own goals and preferences which puts only one race of people first and the interests of one people first you know so b i g big you know blacks in government you know that they are in the cia they are in the nsa they are in the military they are all over you know it's kind of like a hydra before your eyes you know it's like the building of hydra you know so that is one organization that can run and that is the privilege you know some of um folks may call that um black privilege you know the black card the ability to say you know because i am this race or or this because of my skin color is this you know folks can get away with almost anything you know and that is the reality you know that is the reality of the matter it is when your skin is dark you can get away with almost anything not if your skin is light or if you are white you know so those are things you um have to 
consider and think about because keep in mind that it, that other folks are thinking about it so right now you have the opportunity to do uh, what is right and to influence so make sure you influence um, Canada right now when you still have the opportunity to do so so that's that remember to go to alfred.vip and subscribe thank you and god bless you one more thing if you haven't given your life to christ go to alfred.vip click the salvation prayer link in the main menu and a prayer will come up that that you know it's an outline for praying and telling god you want to have God in your life, you know. So say that prayer is important for you to become a Christian if you are not a Christian, you know. So that's that. Thank you. God bless you.